Welcome back to AM Northwest. It's a new cookbook with some new game-changing rules. Here to share Milk Street 365, the all-purpose cookbook for every day of the year. We welcome back Director of Education at Christopher Kimball's Milk Street, Rosie Gill. Hi, Rosie. Hey, Helen, how are you doing? Good. So, first of all, I love the cookbook. It's absolutely beautiful. So many recipes to choose from. What was the goal behind it? The goal was really to go back to having the big cookbook that you can just reach for one. Now that we all have so many cookbooks and we also have the interwebs, yeah. it's sort of hard to understand where to get a reliable recipe. I don't, did you have the one yeah. cookbook when oh, you were growing oh, up? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, mine was the joy of cooking. Yeah. And you could learn anything. I mean, I, we had friends. My mother had friends show up at her, their house with a raccoon. And she looked at, up in the joy of cooking how to cook raccoon. No. And, and no. Yeah. No. Oh, my so, gosh. We, no. No. Oh. We don't have raccoon. Thank goodness. But we have... But I think this is a really updated, like where we are in this moment is yeah. we have expansive palettes. Yeah. Right? We don't want one stew one salsa right but we want to know that the options we get are great yeah. and so we have four stews you sear your meat you don't and so i wanted to show you one approach sort of in a, a little glimpse into 365 today okay and it's talking about being having a recipe be creamy but without using yeah. cream and you have an idea for exactly us. yeah so cream is great we love cream um while i talk i'm just gonna soak some stale bread in chicken broth um so cream is great but it's not the only way to get a creamy texture. And that's really the essence of 365. It's not saying what we used to know doesn't work. It's just saying there's more, yeah, you know? Yeah. And cr cream is great when you want the flavor of dairy. Yeah. But as in this chicken salad or this soup, there are other flavors we want to shine. And so we turn to other ways to get a creamy texture that lets the flavors come through that we want to come through. Because cream is high in fat and has a particular flavor that's not always what we're looking for. Yeah. Okay, you're soaking so, stale bread in chicken broth. Yep. Then you're squeezing yep. the chicken broth out. I am. So you want the stale bread so that there's room in the bread. It's sort of dried out to hold on to the chicken broth. Okay. So both the starches in the bread and the, and the collagen gelatin in the chicken broth are essential for making this creamy. Oh. Then, okay. and you want it to be a little bit warm. And then I like to put garlic that I use to make the chicken broth in as a flavoring agent. Oh. And then we're putting in some walnuts. That's another way that we make things creamy is you use nuts. So it's another fat, just like cream, but a different flavor profile. Okay. Yep. And so then we're just going to add a little bit more of this chicken broth. And we're looking for the consistency of horrible yogurt, which is like <laughs> not my most favorite cue, but okay. I'll use it because it's in the book. Okay. All right. So we're just going to turn this on. What's the recipe we're making with this? This is this is a Turkish chicken salad. So that's okay. another reason why we're using these ingredients is it's what you would find there. You know, and then you can there are different chicken salads that might have mayonnaise in them. You know, you just you look for what you want and then you know it's gonna be a good recipe. Sure. So I added more chicken broth to get a pourable consistency. Okay. There we go. There we go. And then I'll show you. So you normally a chicken salad has mayonnaise or maybe yogurt in like the dreaded days of low fat 1980s cooking. <laughs> um, yeah. But this, but you can imagine those flavors really tangy, um, but if it's yogurt, but also really um, just that particular dairy flavor. This is going to be chicken broth. It's going to have the walnuts. We're going to add a little. Did you see how thick this was, by the way? Yeah. The point. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't need the cream in this instance. And then we want to brighten it up with a little lemon juice. And we just mix it together. And I, you know me, Helen, at this point, you know me, hands. Yeah. Get in there. And you get this really nice um, little bit, I would say, nuttier. Obviously, the walnuts are in it. And then we just add a little Aleppo chili sauce oh. uh, with a little butter to add a little flavor and some parsley. And let me... Now I'll use a spatula. And this makes a phenomenal chicken salad sandwich. Oh, great. I recommend it. Yeah. But I want to talk about the zucchini soup before okay. I make a chicken salad yeah. sandwich. Yeah, so now next, is, so, the, next is the creamy yeah. zucchini and pumpkin seed soup. 
Right, and so often we make bisques with cream and we, make, we just add that cream. And again, great when you want that flavor, but when you have great summer produce, you want the flavor of the zucchini to shine and cream doesn't let that happen. True. So instead in this soup, and again, while I ladle it up, you'll see, I mean, this is, look at this texture. Yeah. It's beautiful. And that's because we used pumpkin seeds, toasted pumpkin seeds, when we pureed the soup. We also used a little bit of flour. If you want to make it gluten-free, you could use rice flour or chickpea flour, which helps a little bit. Um, but really, it's just the pumpkin seeds. So this is just, it doesn't have chicken broth, it's vegetable broth. The pumpkin seeds alone give you that beautiful, creamy, creamy texture. So this yeah, one, I mean, again, look at this. I mean, yeah. Yeah. That looks yummy. It's lots of dill pump. Yeah, it's, it's a Croatian recipe. It's a creamy, it's a zucchini recipe that we learned in Croatia. So you've got your creamy chicken salad that doesn't have to have mayonnaise. You've got your creamy soups that don't have to have um, mayonnaise or any other creamy element. It's really about the whole purpose of the cookbook is to make the ingredients that we've learned to appreciate through traveling around the world right. shine. Right. So you can, and that you can trust the source. That's the point of 365. And yeah. to have fun and make, I mean, look at this. Oh, make that delicious. looks great. Oh my gosh, great <laughs> recipes. And we want to tell everyone again, the book is called Christopher Kimball's Milk Street Magazine 365. Um, every day, see, all purpose cookbook for every day of the yeah. year. Rosie Gill, thank you so much. Thanks, Helen. I'll see you soon. See you soon. All right, we'll be right back with more AM Northwest.